As far as being in the water goes, I would say the biggest issue we see here is that parents don't keep a close eye on their kids and they end up jumping into water where they can't touch or they wander out too deep because we have the beach entry. Um, and it's the parents talking to other parents or watching another kid that they have with them and not keeping an eye on all of their kids. That's another big thing that parents need to remember too, that even if their children are in swimming lessons, it doesn't mean that they are the best swimmers ever, that they do still need to watch their kids when they're in the water. <laughs> I think parents need to be responsible be responsible for their kids. It's a good idea, especially if they have older children, to like set a meeting time that say, okay, at this time, or when I say or do this, then you guys need to come back to your towel so they can check on everyone, make sure um, that's a good time to reapply sunscreen, get a snack, take a drink of water if they need to, because a lot of times, especially when it's hot like today and yesterday, um, that even though the kids are in the water, it's important that they drink water too to stay hydrated. Um, the biggest thing to remember in places like that is when you can't see the bottom, to remember to not dive head first into unknown water, um, to make sure that you usually are always swimming with at least one other person so that if anything were to happen, you have somebody extra to go get help or to call for somebody if you would ever need it. When you are in trouble in the water, you should what should you make sure you do? Um, either floating is a good thing to do if you're in like a lake or a river or something where you can't get to a side. Um, in our pool and most swimming pools, it's not so huge that you wouldn't be able to get to the side. Even if you are tired, float for a couple seconds, swim a couple strokes, float for a couple seconds. Um, also, bobbing is a good thing, where when you push off the bottom, you push yourself a little bit towards the side and then keep bobbing and then you can get to the side better. Uh, and if you're panicking, yelling for help is good. Um, again, at our pool, there's lifeguards placed throughout the pool and we never have an empty chair so there's always a lifeguard there and they're usually, I mean they're trained and they're very good about reacting that if they see a, a person that they even think is in trouble we tell them just, just go, when in doubt help them out.